does Star Wars, does Lucasfilm, does Disney need to refocus right now? Because yeah. let's face it, <laughs> whether, yes, Star Goonies, nice. Um, whether you like the Acolyte or not. And, you know, and last week we talked about how it's been the first time uh, that Star Wars fans, the people who are, you know, shillier than us are even willing to, to finally get real about, eh, it wasn't exactly what I wanted or this is what we need or whatever. Um, how, do, how does Disney Sorry. respond and react to the blowback of the acolyte and because you got this show which looks like it's going to be fun mm -hmm. made for all for kids and focusing mm -hmm. on those key star wars target audiences and then the show after that is going to be andor which of course is yep. heavy and exciting but you know rogue one and andor are the heaviest of the heavy when it comes to star wars so what is what does lucasfilm have to do to keep this or, or to get this train perhaps back on track <laughs> <laughs> okay um as far as the, what does lucasfilm need to do I think that they need to spend more time letting the marketers and the storytellers do what they're, what they do, not let mm -hmm. the accountants do what they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we've been in a mode where we're cranking out so many things because they're, and, I, and there's budgets to fill. And when you mm -hmm. have a law, when you have a Ewan McGregor, when you have a Pedro Pascal, like that costs money. And when you're building new technologies like the volume, go with things that feel natural like i kind of want this to be a little bit more of a gut star wars lfl situation yeah, yeah. Gut, go with something that feels natural don't feel like oh it's time to release something because it's been three months yeah i said it last week i've said it a couple of times maybe even online it's okay to miss star wars as a star wars fan i'm glad yep. to go god i can't wait for the next star wars thing to come out I don't need to be on a schedule. I'm going to watch it. If you give it to me, I'm going to watch it. Skeleton Crew comes out in December. If you give me the next animated anthology thing, I'm going to watch it. If you give, yep. if you put it in front of me, I'm going to watch it. But I'm also equally as interested in take your time. Give it the amount of episodes it requires. Yep. Let it, yep. let the story develop. Let the creatives do their thing, not put it out. And Brian has a good point in the chat. Star Wars Lego rebuild the galaxy, which I'm really excited about. Yeah. Get this yep. Another crazy, funky, you know, whatever. And KG that literally saying it, you know, everything I said with better words and fewer words, <laughs> I'm loving all the content we get, but there should be a focus on quality over quantity. Yep. Don't give it to, don't give me things because you feel like you have to, Oh, it's time again. I'm fine to miss star Wars. There's enough stuff banked up that I can go back and watch if I'm really missing star Wars. Yep. Yep. I, I think you're right. And I think, I think we've proven that, you know, you come back, people will come back to it. What about you, Lloyd? What are your thoughts on this? Disney would just let the creators cook instead mm -hmm. of forcing them onto some weird deadline or forcing them to make something that doesn't really need to be made. Yeah. I think we'll be in good hands. Like, I, I, yeah, because I would love to see the data that shows yeah. does, does subscription Number, do subscription numbers tick up when a new Star Wars show hits or when a new Marvel show hits? I would venture to say probably not. No, I think, not at I, this point. I, th I think like I think they have what they have at this point for the most part. It, it doesn't. And, and it's because people, I think, are just getting, I want to say it's gotten the Marvel effect where we're just bombarded and oversaturated with yeah. the same kind of content. And I'm yep. not saying that I, I don't want it. Right. It's Star Wars. Shit. Look at my background. My point <laughs> is like, I want it, but I want it done well, you yeah. know, and I'm not saying that Acolyte was bad. I enjoyed it. It had its issues. Absolutely. Yeah. It wasn't like the worst thing on the planet. I loved Mandalorian. I thought it was great. Yeah. They need to let it just let the creators do what they need to do and yeah. just let them marinate it for a little bit, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> but well, they're not. I, I, and again, I, <laughs> I truly believe you know, I, I, I've been in marketing, I've been in communications, I've done all that stuff. I think I think Star Wars Galaxy's Edge will survive without another Star Wars show for a year and a half. I think a ton It'll of people will go there, I right? Um, We've had Star Tours for like 40 years now, or 35 yeah. years now, or whatever it's it is. It's still there. You can still, still do there. Star Tours. It's doing right. fine. 
Yep. It doesn't need new content wait. to keep it going. And here's the thing. If I'm being perfectly honest, and I've said this many I still haven't been to Galaxy's Edge yet. It's on my list. I'm going to get there yep. one day. Haven't been. Was in California. Was like a mile you. away from it. Haven't been. Yep. But I've been to Star Tours Hollywood Studios in Orlando. If yep. you ask me right now, which one are you picking? I might well pick Star Tours because of the nostalgia and the it's feelings and the connection. Yeah. Yeah. And, the, yeah. and it's classic. Yep. And that's that kind of feeds into that same thing. Like you don't have to keep up like star Wars is a rock. Star Wars is a cornerstone. And I'm not saying don't give us new things. I want new things. I want more things. Yeah. That's not what this is, but it's okay to take your time and let those things be, let the artists do what the artists do. That's it. Yeah. Just let them, yeah. let, let them cook as the kids <laughs> yeah. say.